Hi, everybody. Um, a few people have been saying on Twitter that uh, they'd like to see a video or be shown how to import stuff from UE5 to UEFN. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you here. You must have, obviously, Unreal Engine installed first. Maybe not obvious. Uh, I just installed 5.1.1. Um, go to Marketplace. And uh, you'll see here, free. We always like free. Free stuff's good. Um, you've got free for the month, which changes, I think it's on the first Tuesday of every month. So this is currently what's available. Uh, but also you have permanently free, which is very cool. Um, I, there was a constructor set I was going to get, so let's have a look. Construct. Construct. Let's just go there. Okay. There's a little bundle. Construction site pack. Free. We want free. Hello. Free. Thank you. There we go. So. Once you've chosen which one you want, make sure you look at uh, the pixel size. This is okay, it's 2K. If it's 4K, you can actually change the size of those. Um, <clears throat> but UEFN will only let you use 2K, not 4K. So you'd have to adjust it. I can show if anybody needs that, but it's quite a simple thing to do. Um, so this one's got like 52 meshes. It shows you what it's got which is cool. It's just some bits and pieces I want from here. So um, add to cart. We'll make sure here it supports your version. That's another little thing. Go to your cart and check out. Once it disappears from here, sometimes it shows you a screen, sometimes it doesn't. It's gone. So in my library, I have now got my construction. Where's my construction kit gone? Ha, here we go. So it's going to say uh, add to project. Okay. Some of them say create project, like this one here, which I did over here. Um, but the this one's saying add to project. So I'm going to stick it into my assets project that I've already got. Or you can just launch Unreal. Should I show you that? Let's show you that. Let's do it from scratch so you understand. <laughs> so here you need to just choose uh, a blank island. So I'm going to go to the games and the blank island is quite a big blank island. Okay. Um, and I'm going to create a project. Now, I store my stuff for UE5 here on my C drive. You can't put spaces in this name. Uh, let's do construction. So if you do a space, it comes up automatically here. Okay, so no space. Construction set, create. Okay. We now have our project. Let it prepare the shaders. Uh, I'm going to just increase my camera speed. And show you. Okay, so none of this is textured, so it's quite cool. So um, what I'm going to do now, I don't think you can import it from here. So I'm going to close this. Go back into Unreal, and we should see our new island. There it is, construction set. Okay. But like I say, I use one called Assets. I just import everything in there and export it, migrate it, sorry, when I need it. So we want this one, construction set, add, and we'll go construction, add. Okay, so it's 
550 megabytes total size. Make sure you've got a good size storage with Unreal. Look at all these. So many. But they're worth collecting, especially the ones that only last for a month. So that should now be installed here. So let's go in, launch it. Okay, go to our content drawer. Okay, so let's go meshes. So here are all our little meshes, which are very, very cool. Um, bits and bobs that I will probably use on something. Um, if you want to see what they look like, just double click. And there you go. And use your normal keys. Hey, close that down. Right. So this is the process. So say if I wanted uh, this. And we'll just do, we can do one at a time or two at a time. So let's go. What else do we want? Let's just uh, put some ladders in there. Okay. And those. Right, right click, asset actions, migrate. Okay, okay, select your folder, UEFM projects. Uh, do, 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 what should I do? I could do it in tutorial. You go to plugins and then content must be in a content folder. So if you wanted this into a specific um, to, uh, project that you've got, for example, I have playing around um, vehicles, just little projects I'm messing around with. Um, just going to put it, actually I'll put it into playing around because that's the one I always use. Um, so you go to plugins. Playing around again, content has to be in content folder. Okay, select. If you don't do it in a content folder, it does give you a warning saying this is not a content folder. That is done. So close, then open up your Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Drag that window in. Okay, so we put it into playing around. Okay, double click on playing around. There's a lot of stuff in here, so it may take a while to load up. I've been messing around with all sorts of things, which is good fun. A few moments later. As you can see, I have a few things. <laughs> uh oh, what's this? Mr. Immature Gamer. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go over to a clean spot. Right, go to your content drawer. Playing around. Construction volume two, which is the one that we imported. And there's our three. Let's drag it on Petrocan. Let's drag these step ladder and step ladder unfolded. Very cool. So this is working. Uh, you can obviously move them as per normal. You can turn them. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, currently, this uh, won't be a prop. I have got another video on my channel showing you how to turn them into props. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it, it's easy process, it's not a problem. Um, let me launch session so you can see them in game. Save. Make sure there's no errors.
Yay, finally. Okay. Hopefully it's now going to load up. I hope they do something about this load times. <laughs> if you have a small map, it's not a problem. Yeah, if you get this, just escape. Oh, he says. Uh -uh. Okay. Right. So. And there they are. They're in there. But you cannot manipulate them in any way in uh, Fortnite Radio. But if you're if you watch my other tutorial, you will see. Can a, a great big immature gamer. I know I haven't turned them. <laughs> okay, or, or a big or even. So. Once you follow my other tutorial, you can do whatever you like to them, okay? That's it. It's the end. I hope you found it useful. Any issues or any problems, just contact me. No problem. I'd love to help. Can't do anything else. Can't publish maps right now. Won't go into that. <laughs> but I've converted most of these already as you can see these are all imported from uh, ue5 and other places but you've got plaster board all sorts of stuff here so it's cool um that's it thank you very much for watching i'll link to the other video in the description